Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. In the mini series of tank level control using Factory IO and TIA portal, today we have came back with another interesting example that is flow control using Factory IO and TIA portal, and that too that we are going to use using PID controller. So, this is the complete tank that I have created in the Factory IO. It's simply you can go to stations and again drop like this. That's it. And uh, its configuration I have kept analog only. And I have taken some text over here. Be before that, let me tell you about this panel. So there is nothing, just start and reset button and two digital displays. Okay, and one potentiometer to set our flow so this is the potentiometer that i have kept for uh, 0 to 10 volt this digital displays i have configured as integer and i have renamed all the text by clicking over here you can rename the text like this so i renamed it as tank 4 set level uh, you can see over here tank 4 set flow okay and this is the present flow uh, let me show you by this you can see this is our present flow this is set flow and this is our potentiometer and start stop buttons so uh, here to fill the tank I have taken this valve okay let me show you how I taken all this so first here I will enable sensor and actuator tags so i have to fill the tank manually so i have kept it forced beside this i want to monitor my flow meter and discharge valve so this time uh, because we want to control flow uh, we have to our output main output will be this discharge valve okay so these are the main things so uh, how you can create this operating panel so it is simple drag and drop things like this you can rotate by Y or you can move in vertical direction by pressing V on the keyboard and similarly I have collected all this equipments so there is nothing much difficult here quickly coming to the programming side so now at this moment I would like to tell you if you haven't watched our this video PID level control then please first watch that video because here also I am going to use PID so there are many things different that I have taught in this video because it is not the simple simulation that we have done till yet by using S1200 so these things I have mentioned in my previous video so in this video I am going to explain this programming in very short because in the previous video of the PID level control I have explained everything in very detail so what is the main difference so the main difference is to simulate PID blocks we have to use CPU 1500 only we cannot use CPU 1200 to simulate PID blocks so first of all there is the hardware changes but before that we also need the template factory IO file for S7 1500 so all our previous videos we were using S7 1200 sample factory IO files so first of all you have to download this so how to download this that I have shown in previous video and when you download that file so you copy paste that file and then do your programming in that copy pasted file only because why because the hardware will be set by factory IO company only in this particular model it will work I say it will work better and other things like simulation mode is on in this by default so all these settings are by default okay so you have to download this file and that I have shown you in the previous video besides this how you can get this normax calx so you can drag and drop this over here and then type normax the box will be created then type again drag and drop then type scalax and this block will be created so these things I have shown in my previous video so here quickly I will discuss our main OB okay so main OB this function is enabling by default by the sample file 
to link factory io so here you can see i am normalizing and scaling my present level so first of all my tank flow flow meter i will connect to the id30 in my factory io now the flow is i am getting between 0 to 10 so here i have taken 0 to 10 over here another logic is factory io is giving me output 0 to 10 volt if you are using real hardware then here we have to normalize it with 0 to 27,648 value for the 10 volts but in the factory io uh, we will keep it as 0 to 10 now here we, i have to change uh, this data type so it will be real to real and that will be stored in md0 now md0 is scaled from 0 to 10 now why in the previous video pid level control our level was between 0 to 300 centimeter but here in my flow meter i would be able to see 0 to 10 of flow meter so here i am going to scale for 0 to 10 only now if you don't change this and you copy paste the pid file then what will happen your potentiometer will move from 0 to 300 but we don't want that so here i have scaled for 0 to 10 and that i have stored in qd34 so that will be my display present flow display okay similarly from the potentiometer i want to my set flow so potentiometer will also give me 0 to 10 volts so factory io will also give me 0 to 10 real value so here i have kept 0 and 10 and uh, potentiometer i have connected at id34 in the factory io that i will show you that is stored in md2 and md2 will be used to scale now my set flow is also between 0 to 10 okay so here i have kept minimum 0 maximum 10 and that will be shown at qd38 set flow display okay this is simple main ob only two networks and this is for only enabling now quickly coming to the cyclic interrupt how you can get this double click on add new block for pid instruction we have to create different ob and in that we write so when you click on the cyclic interrupt and click on automatic and click ok so the cyclic interrupt ob will be created so i have already created but just to show you i have shown you this so you see new is new block is created but i did not want it right now so i will just delete this so i will show you my cyclic interrupt ob30 for pid instruction it is uh, necessary to create this function block so in this i have written my pid compact instruction how i got this so from here technology pid control and pid compact and this first one i have drag and drop over here and this is created so in the set point i have kept my qd38 that is my scaled output and this is my scaled input that i have stored at qd34 that is present flow so present flow is our input and when this function block will be enabled when this bit is on and what is our output so output here you simply have to write qd30 so it will appear like this so this time to control the flow my output will be discharge valve so that i have written over here and that i will connect in factory io now to latch this bit i have used sr block over here that you can get from basic instructions and the bit logic and you will get sr block over here uh, you drag and drop and you type i0.0 i0.1 to reset this and in this way we have just latched this okay by start and stop button another thing that i have done over here is when the stop button is pressed that means my this output is unlatched means off the system is off then what should happen my wall should be off so i have to move 0.0, .0 in that wall if i don't write this what will happen even i press the stop button my wall will keep on okay so discharge wall will be on only so to turn off i have to move 0.0, .0 in this this is the simple ladder programming of pid but essential part is configuration of this pid compact that you can do from here double click over here green 
marks indicates the things I have changed. So basic settings. So here you have to keep general, here percentage and here automatic mode. Here input only and here output only. After that directly I am going to PID parameters. So here I have used this P gain as 1, integral action time as 9 and rest of the thing as 0. Proportional weight 1 and sampling time 1. Uh, this is my PID settings. Now I have already downloaded this so I can go to online. But for you, you have to change your PLC type from here. S71500 then you turn on download and then run. And then uh, you would be able to connect to factory IO. Like you have to connect over here but before that in configuration you have to change S71500 over here also. And then I have connected my start button and reset button over here. Flow meter ID30, potentiometer ID34, discharge wall QD30. Now these are my display. So that I have connected at QD34 and QD30 at my set flow. So now we are ready to do simulation. Here also I have got online and here I can enter my input and outputs. So let us minimize this. So I have forced this fill valve because without the tank level means water in the tank how we can get the flow. So I have kept it forced. Now before starting what we have to do we have to set our flow. So if I put maximum it will go up to 10 because I have done scaling as per that. Let us say my set flow is 5 and when I press the start button this will be on. Okay. So you can see if it would be on off controller what would happen it will open my discharge valve to the full value. But because this is the PID controller so it is controlling my valve like this and I am getting near about uh, my set valve. And you can see my PID values are working good. Okay. If I increase the flow you can see it is slowly increasing my output. And what would happen if there will be on-off controller? It will just fully on my discharge valve. But here it is going slowly. And my value is getting near to my set value. So this is the PID control. If I reduce this, okay. If I reduce this. So it will slowly reduce my output and come near to my set value. So it will slowly reduce it. So it is near about my set value you can see. If I further reduce this you can see it's slowly reducing my output and oscillations are not much also. So this is our PID flow controller. You can see input output and outputs like this. Okay. Yeah. Let me maximize this and for the better view uh, let us say we want 7 now. So our discharge wall will open accordingly that here we can see our flow it will reach to near about 7 okay so slowly it is getting to our set point so this is if I reduce right now you can see uh, there will be error of 1 right now in my simulation but you can see it will reach to our set point and it will try to maintain our set point okay so this is the flow control in factory IO using PID controller and programming in TIA portal. So friends, if you like this video and want more content like this, show your interest by liking and subscribing our YouTube channel. Meet you in the next video with another interesting examples.